Welcome to the stream. It's Friday night. Things are getting wild. Woo, GMAT. Yay. Goldfish. You looking so handsome tonight. I want to fuck you. I want to fuck you. I want to fuck you. want to fucking fuck you. Lay it down. Give you that love. Lay it down. Love from above. It's Goldie and GMAT. And Goldie, Goldie, GMAT. It's Goldie and GMAT. It's ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh, oh, yeah. Goldie. 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 I'll put it in your butt. Oh. 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 Um, anyways, we're going to play it. Uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward. I'm, I've genuinely been buzzing for this all day. Um, and the other thing is I'm just fucking knackered you guys. And because the game involves a guy that just goes blah, 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 blah. He can take care of all that. And I could just play and we can talk and we can relax. Uh, so shall we get into it? Do you think we've waited long enough for people to join? If people want to join it's, but it's weird cause today's not a regular stream day. So I want to give people the chance to join. I'm fucking ready. I'm fucking ready. This is a very cool game. Please choose the screen. English subtitles. Ben O, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Have you played the Stanley Parable before? I have, but I'm sure some of you guys haven't. Should I click yes or no? Like, what kind of effect do you think that's going to have on the game? The thing about this game is this could have a major effect and I've got no idea. Yes, no, nah, nah, yes. I'm going to click no. I'm going to say I haven't played the Stanley Parable before. And maybe there's some sort of tutorial. I don't know. Let's just do it. Adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. It's already kind of barely visible. And I got lights blaring on my fucking face. Please enter the current time. Go fuck yourself. Why is that? You never had to do any of this in the original. The current time is 9. I'm going to wait for it to become 9.20. And I'm going to click it. Turn down the brightness. Turn down the brightness. I'm going to get this fucking spot on. Come on, computer. Go 920 any second now. That's right. Good fucking call. Well done, whoever that was. Sorry, I can't look over to see who it was. 920 p.m., 920 p.m. Oh, it, oh. Don't know when it happened. I'm pretty close. Thanks, gang. <laughs> All right. Let's get in there. Stanley Parable. Our first playthrough. The game, again, the game has multiple, like, this this short little... You see. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yes. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427! Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Yes, he did. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. That's, I think that's pretty much bang and on. And then one day, something very peculiar. So happened. far, all the same. Something that would forever change Stanley. I think it is the same something game. Something never quite forget. With a few additions. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Hell yes, Stan. When he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Went to go pick up my daughter from nursery and for a quick ship before I managed to somehow piss between the gap of the bowl and the seat while s sat down having a poo, so I ended up pissing up and so, oh no. Plus made it me like, so you pissed your pants and you weren't even wearing them. Uh, Chaotic, if you did subscribe with Twitch Prime, it might come through a bit later on. Sometimes it could be delayed. 
Um, well, let's see what's on the computer. I like to interact with everything in the Stanley Parable. Y E S, no? Oh. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, I didn't mean to close the door. to make a decision. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. I made a mistake. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. I can move through the chair. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for clock. sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. He's gonna die. Here it comes. Stop. Okay. Successfully finished the game once. One ending to the game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There is- Hey! Uh, someone subscribed. Fucking wake up. Let's play through. Let's do everything the guy tells us to do. Once through. And just give you guys a regular ending. For the game. 420! What is E? E? E makes computer sounds. And clicking the mouse. Hello? It's me, Stanley. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, yeah, he did. And he typed nonstop. Where's all my co workers? Where'd everybody go? Yet, there was not a single person here either. Classic. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. On my way. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Yes, sorry, I'm so sorry. Up to the boss's Coming office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked oh, chaotic. to his boss's office. And the journey has begun. Why did that not come up? Did that not come up? Chaotic, thank you for uh, resubscribing. Um, Twitch Prime. Did that come up on stream? Did I already say it? I'm very tired. It's been a long week. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss has suffered losses, then what's the boss chose? Fuck you. It came up. I'm so sorry, Chaotic. Thank you. For, uh, subbit, 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 Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Your mama. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Don't want to forget it. Can't be forgetting 2845. It's gonna flip me though, so let's go. Oh god, it's so hard to write backwards. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two, I have to write this in reverse. Two, eight, oh god. Two, eight, four, five. Eight, four, Five. 
You gotta make that eight a bit more obvious. Oh Jesus. Two eight four five. Now we'll never forget. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. Oh fuck and you! The door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. I'm really pissed off about that. Two eight four five for no reason. Remember it, everybody. Write it down. Yeah, fuck you. Hello. All right, we're going down. That's Matt's prison number. If Jean Valjean's prison number was 2845, he wouldn't have to have sing, sung the big note. Descending deeper into Two, the building, eight, Stanley four, five. He felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. I'm going to write 2845 on random videos so you never forget. Years, Thank you. It had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Let's do it. Hello. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yes, he did. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I gotta be honest, I don't know who John Bell John is. Jean Valjean. <laughs> John Bell John. The name's John Bell John. 24601. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. What's my number? Stanley's co uh, 2845. The lives of so many Four two seven was mine. Wasn't it? Images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 427. Oh, nothing interesting. A few people fired. I wish I could zoom in. Thank you, SJX. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Um, was this the only I don't think he was so. happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Congratulations, Retro. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. It's not his happening. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? So far, this ending is exactly the soul, the heart of normal. the operation. Controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content. More like content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Oh, yeah. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. You're goddamn for right. He would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyone else getting lag on the stream? What's this? Are you in? Are you in the in the Matrix? System power off. Stuttery blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Anyone else getting issues with the stream? Or anyone else not getting issues? That'd be better than I. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Sweet, sweet. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. A lot of puzzles. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? 
What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. We're going to write down endings do, as we go. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. You're damn right. That was all he needed to know. You're damn right. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. Love the new the tap. Thanks, man. Possibility of the new Angel Elder, thank him. you. This was exactly the way, right now, that you things got an amber. were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Jester, have a good night, buddy. All right. That's one ending. So we've done two endings so far. We did, uh... Oh, that's, that's beat the game. That's the main ending. One. We, we, uh, we, uh... What would you call that? Outside sun. Number two, stayed in office. Perfection. We're so fucking good. All right. Now this All time- All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed Mr. a memo. memo. This time, I want to like clear things, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go left. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm going to go up there, but this time I'm going to turn the power on. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You haven't seen the new concept yet. No, no new concept, but I'm, 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 Com Stepping I'm completioning. His office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Fuck you, bitch. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. I feel like I'm being pushed. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, nope. Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Thank you. To find a thick heaven. An hour and a half, so I'm here, but lurking. Do you think, GG Geordie? Lurk, right, do whatever you gotta do. Fail, eh. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yeah, he did. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? So we're gonna... I'm not gonna rush for the new content. I want to... Just play through the game for a few of those guys who haven't seen this game before. Experience it. Experience now, it the, the right way. To life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number Who's of Who's that fired? 601 is fired. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on I don't know if it's going to come up later, but I'm going to write down one of them the numbers that are weird. In this place, 104, 234. Nothing. 104. 234. 234 just got a bunch of blue shit. Blue shit. I don't know if I'll have to use that later. Write it on your cheek. <laughs> Y'all are a bad influence. So it's only like two people that have been fired. Suckers. You got fired from the world's easiest this job. Mind control click, facility. Click, click. It was too horrible to believe uh. it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Would was someone under someone's control do this? His boring job that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. I'm an individual. 
No. He refused to believe it. He, he couldn't, couldn't accept it. it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Oh. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. One, and two. as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. I think I have to for press he the button. Would dismantle Five. the controls once and for all. So I just want to work out where the buttons are so I don't waste time. One and two are side by side over there. Five's over there. There's one up there. I'm missing one button. Huh. What is up there? I can't tell what button's up there. One, two. Where is this mysterious button? I reckon that's one? Woo, G Matt. Yeah. Juicy? Hey, thanks for the raid, champ. Thanks for the bloody raid, you champion. You champion your Oh my god, is that a raid? That's just so fucking goddamn lit. And oh my god, is that a raid? And just for that, you can see my tits. Found it. Number three. One, two, three, four must be up the up up there, and then five over here. Sweet. Seen uh, I think they were playing uh Juicy was playing Elden Ring. Yes, Elden Ring still. There you go, Juicy. Playing some Stanley Parable. All right, system power on. And when at last he found the source of the room's power. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you yes. go and you tried to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Hundo. Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Yeah, the tree area I'm sucks. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. How oh, cool! In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's see. Mission fail. We'll get them next time. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better oh, than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk Am about Am I supposed you, to press the buttons at me? It where says... We going? What all this means? I barely know where to start. All right, the buttons aren't changing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Oh, I fucked up. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Erased? I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office oh. forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. How do I activate the Watching backup power? Watching to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate oh, to I see fucked it this. go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be You have one attempt better. remaining. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Okay, I fucked I'm up. Oh, this so what's much. that over there? You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Thanks, handsome. These are precious additional seconds. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? 
Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, yeah, I'm screen panicking. to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. You Why suck. Would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. I apologize, I, I made a mistake. Destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Uh, and believe me, I will be laughing at every oh, second of your it. inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Ending number three. I blew the cunt up. Blew cunt up. I don't know if there was something I could have done there, but we'll come back to that later and maybe work it out. For now, all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Let's do the Perhaps opposite. He had simply missed a memo. Let's go the right way. Let's go right, right door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, he didn't, bitch. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, yeah, that's true. That's what I wanted to do. Ah, oh. uh, yes, truly a room worth overwhelming. Admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, Bleh. really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I'm doing well, Dragon Echo. How are you? 420 was back in the original room. What at this you... point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. What if you stay here it's the whole time? That this is why everyone left. All right, we'll stay here the whole time. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. What? What? Did you ever, like, wake up or... Do, uh, like, do something, and you're just like, what the heck fuck is going on? He's really not saying anything. But you're not saying names, but a friend of mine is starting out streaming. Any advice? I just stream stuff that you want to stream, man. Do content that you want to make. That's all I'd say. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. I had had enough. took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years I'm ago. I'm going to do the opposite of everything he says. No mantra, and uh, that's the that's the code to a, a, a door. <laughs> there's a there's a um <laughs> there's a door that I, I wanted to remember the code to, and every time I look up, I see look, it. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. 
There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. I could about. go that way. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay. Where is she? Hello, my wife? This game would drive me insane after- Oh, fucking hell. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. City abortion clinic. No, Venus. Com Beatus. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh! <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Yes. They'd want to commit their life to you. Yeah. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Okay. Oh, she's beautiful. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Let's, um, let's make love on the kitchen counter. Good morning, employee 427. Press K on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told I'm to a do. good boy! Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. I'm doing all. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. That's no. Please press O. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. Yep. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would buttons. ever happen to him. He's got to press these buttons. <laughs> press M to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press J to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press B to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, oh, he shit. began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Wife? Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Oh, well, let's listen. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, and down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Yellow line, game with a baby. I know the game with a baby. Press H to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press Q to tell your wife you love her. I love you, man. But there is oh no my answer. God. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Not true. The longer he spends here, the M more invested he o gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Press G to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. See you, Listen to me. He won't stop. It's a code, yeah, everybody. Watch this. Remember it. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Fuck you, bitch. You see? 
can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once Classic. more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. I said I was thinking. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Ending four, please die. I'm never gonna remember what any of these are. Maybe I'll just write down how many endings I've done instead of giving them names. Oh, this is a different, this is different. This took me straight to the, oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I'm going to do what Sandman Perhaps just said before. Perhaps he by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Well, I don't. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, yes, he did. I you know, the boss of me, you English bitch. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing really, your I'm trust not. in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about <clears throat> nothing but you all this time. Starting a this someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. If you could have one superpower, someone what would it be? Please, stop trying to make every decision uh, Now, I'm not asking probably for Probably super strength. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Hey, Mac, what's going on, buddy? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Sam Ann said to unplug the phone from the wall. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Yeah, bitch. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Press the button. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. That's, 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 that's what happened. Fate to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Lay it on me, Ben. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I'm like Pinocchio. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic... Can you look happier occasionally? ...for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Um, no, BMAC. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical Not real being person mean, you're a good guy. Shut a up, choice. BMAC. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought 
Then provide an excuse Fart. why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. BMAC, try uh, noticed smiling for 600 seconds. As a result of narrative contradiction. Now I'm smiling. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. Okay. And see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Do I need to say I need a back sack and crack? Do I restart? By the way, that wasn't the mods, everybody. Don't be don't be frightened about talking shit. I was just I was I was, it was just annoying. <laughs> so I did it. <laughs> the mods were a lot nicer than me. What am I? What am I doing? Am I going back? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Oh that no! That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. So now he's not letting me even kill myself? Yeah, we'll see about that. Huh! <gasps> what? Let me die, bitch. <laughs> what have I done? I can't leave. I don't know if Bubbles was here, I'm sure the ban hammer would come out. No, 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 I wasn't ban worthy. I just, I, like I said, I'm so exhausted today. I'm just so tired. And for whatever, it's B Mac saying, just throw a smile on your face for 30 seconds. Made me unbelievably mad. <laughs> I tried to jump, it won't let me go off the edge. No hard feelings, so Mac. I'm just too tired. I'm too tired to, br to bloody come up with something clever to say. So I used the tools I had. All right, all right. I've, uh, maybe I could use this truck. Modern problems, modern solutions. That, Dirty the Savage literally drawing a smile on my face came into my mind. But I was worried that people would join the stream and be like, oh, here's some fucking joker dweeb. <laughs> Congratulations, Juicy. All right. I thought I really fucking tricked the game then, but the game's, the game's, the, the game's won. I can't work out how to, uh, what to do next. no handles on the doors. Flower boy, what's going on, pal? Welcome to the stream. As someone who can fully enjoy a good time without smiling. Don't I smile a lot? Aren't I like a smiley guy? I thought I was a smiley person. I know my resting face is like... Am I a 
smiley person. Thank you. What are you looking for? Oh. Somebody told me to smile. So said, just throw a smile on your face for 30 seconds, so I timed them out because I'm a baby. 600 seconds in the timeout grave. You look well. Yeah. Well, let me mute my... <laughs> See ya. <laughs> She's so stoned. <clears throat> Same guy telling you to smile is the guy. Oh, B Mac, B Mac, the Nikocado guy. How dare? How dare? <clears throat> Do you ever think about the concept of smiling? Like, oh, I'm happy. Let me show everyone my teeth. I don't know what I've done. Let me let me work this out. Let me work this. Let me try and. I, I think I fucked it. I think I'm gonna have to manually restart. Cause I can't, uh, can't work out. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna manually begin the game again. That was Bep. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. I'll tell you one. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. Rude. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to I'll him. I'll show you one uh, ending that I remember. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Are you sick of this gag? No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? No. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. Bruh. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Agreed. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here Continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. I will not be coming back. Good fun. Hey, good times. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. I kind of wish I hadn't have- Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. We'll do well. it later. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm going to tell myself to unplug the phone again, but we'll do it later, because we just did it. Because jumping down seemed like the wrong option. And I kind of got stuck, but I wanted to see where that ending was going. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. 
But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. What happens if I just do it at the start? Oh, wait. Did I land on boxes last time or did I just survive? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Oopie doopie. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. All right. Uh, six endings. One, I died. <laughs> I fell to my death. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Yeah, we'll see about that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Is it raining? he entered the door on his left. That's fucking weird. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly, perfectly well. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took Sounds the like first an open con, door you know. on his left. I will do that eventually. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, what about Stanley, if I, I landed on top of the trucks? The wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing, but in his Damn. eagerness to prove that he... All of his co-workers were gone. Dumb. What could it mean? Stanley decided to hey! go to the meeting room. Someone Perhaps subscribe. Mama! Thanks for subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. I'm Mike Wazowski. Uh, thank you. Oh, now I'm the the, the purple, the blue fella. Thank you. Don't we can't. Thank you for resubscribing, Llama. One more month to you there for a year. Headed. Butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, did he? Oh, no, of course he didn't. Stanley I don't play that so shit. I don't ever forget. Directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Years ago. All right, Look, this Stanley, time. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. Yeah, I'm not. not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Fuck Are you, you bitch. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I will. I will walk through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. I'll stop. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Both those doors opened. Oh. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> now I played before Llama, but this is this is the deluxe edition that just came out uh, like the other day, yesterday or something. Oh man, oh, I'm tripping shit, man. Ah.
No, wait. Where are you going? Right. Where were we? I'm gonna fuck with this boy. Catch you around, idiot. Strange. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. Good. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, oh. Stanley, think about what you're doing. No! <laughs> oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. No, no. <laughs> no, no, what are you no. doing, Stanley? Please, Don't I'm asking it. you not to take this away from me. Don't do I can't it. go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are virgin. you doing this? Oh, no. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Yes. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. <laughs> Am I reading the situation correctly? That's fucking dark as shit. Oh, God. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. What if I go back? I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to- Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? Here we I are. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. We could be happy. Just let it happen, man. Well, I've done all I can do. He fucked up. He had his opportunity to be happy with 2845. And now death. Goodbye, bitch. Stanley walked to the bathroom and touched himself. Stanley was colorblind and picked the wrong door. Stanley fell face first onto his cock. Little did he know, it wasn't going to hurt. Is it over? Yes. It's going to restart, isn't it? Uh-huh. I'm going back. Seven. Jumped. Off. Stairs. All right. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. How many boxes are getting delivered? Can I go this way? No. Well, there's their own at 26. That's a lot of boxes. It's a lot of box. Oh, so this guy stopped talking to me. He's not saying anything to me anymore. He's being quite rude, actually. Hello. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, he did. Oh, did he? Yeah, hold on. Uh, come on. Ah, oh, you fucker. Mm. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Jerking Please off. Take your time. <coughs> right on the wall. Stanley, Stanley, coming shit to a staircase, his boss's Stanley desk. walked upstairs to his boss's office. Straight up. Bitch. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Oh, and in trying such to race a competitive the doors. economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Yep. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He I'm just hadn't found the words for dead. it. Dead. I'm dreaming. Dreaming. He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. I can't beat the He door. wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, shit. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? You high, bitch. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice the explain all giving that? Me a headache. <laughs> this voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. What? Everything will be fine. 
I am okay. I'm fucked. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This one was a bit intense. Yeah, you're fucking telling me. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. Stanley's a nut. collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Thanks I am for the sane. follow, motherfucker. I am in control of my mind. Stone Lee, I thanks for the follow, buddy. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Bulus, that was our eighth ending. I went downstairs. And it didn't seem like there was a lot more to do downstairs. Either. I kind of went downstairs and that was it, right? All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, the boxes! What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can I get up on these boxes? Oh, oh. I am mounting the... No. You can't jump in this game, so I'm... Trying to see if there's any glitches. Oh, there's one. Okay, well, I ordered a bunch of fucking shit. Count them all. There were. Uh, make sure there's 1,326. Okay. There's not. <laughs> there's not 1,326 boxes. Or is it mugs? Oh, my God. I bet there is 1,326. Scattered all over the shop. Oh, they're all in there. Should we check the new content? Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I'll check it out. Oh, here we fuck. Thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. This is all new, obviously. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Which we've had a taste of tonight. We've had about an hour After and 16 minutes. Critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay. Okay, so far it's an elephant. See you, Amber. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I'm ready for it. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, 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 there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Yes. 
Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um... Oh, okay. Let's see oh. the content. Give me the content, Stanley. I'll take it. New content, the All jump right. circle. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. I can jump! Can I jump outside the circle? No, only in the circle. Oh, I literally, that's how many jumps I had. Oh, thanks for the jumps. Is, is that it? Loved it. Surely that's not all the new content. That's there it. There has to be something else, right? The extra 20 bucks was worth it. Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. How high Very does this place go? How high do you have to be? I knew there had to be something to get? else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. To enjoy this game. Thank you for enjoying the new content. <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy it's dollar. It's a code llama. It's for the door. The craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. Hey, it could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Oh. Ish your bish. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube, by the way, guys. We're uh we're definitely gonna hit 30k subs tonight. I shouldn't say definitely, because if we Oh, this is new. Where are we at now? Twenty-nine thousand nine hundred and sixty-three. Thirty-seven more subs. If you're not subbed. Go subscribe right meow. <gasps> A copyright claim was made on my video. Which one? Oh, hold on, everybody. I'm so sorry to do this right here, right now. Uh, but there's a, a vi I've got a new video coming out tonight at midnight. And I want to... Uh, I don't, I don't want to fucking have it demonetized before it's even come out. This video can't be monetized. My fucking ass. Why not? View options. 21. Audio visual claim. The fuck are you talking about? It's weird that people can just look at Snake and fall in love immediately. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. But that's fine. There. Why? Yes. But to play a game is not dead. Trick behind that key. Trick. That weasel of a president said. Because Konami's claimed. F fine, I'll trim it out. I don't give a fuck. There, it's trimmed. It's not in the video anymore. 
No, nah, no, nah, it's uh, uh, YouTube's automatically picked up on music that Konami put in their own game. Fucking nonsense. Perfect. All right, well, that's doing that itself. Let's get back to the fucking good shit. Well, it's not Kojima because Kojima doesn't work for Konami anymore. Oh, that's the old place. I want to go back to the old place. Let me go back to the old place. Psst. Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. Hey, it's your bitch. By the way, thanks for subscribing on YouTube. It came up on my feed before. Oh, you're welcome. You said it. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Yep. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Oh, I love it. What is it? Oh. I call it the memory zone. I love it's memories. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Hey, uh, that's fine, Isha Bish. I'm just happy you're here watching. Enjoying the stream. The memory zone. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before yeah. it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, oh the waste. British <laughs> A BAFTA. Stanley Parable. Awarded to Bruce Straley, Last of Us. Oh, yeah. It is a fucking great game, though, isn't it? In your love. The original remake. Yes, you have Juicy. I know you have. Trip down memory lane. <laughs> Stanley Parable. Oh, I've never played that before. Is it possible to get this achievement? Don't play for five years. Wait, did they really win a BAFTA? Can you win a BAFTA for game design? British Academy Game Awards. Oh, there's that ending we just had. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives YouTube and then subs. succeeds Bruce. to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. It's like, I could go in there, or I could go see what the fuck this is. Memory zone maintenance. A 
I bet if I do the fucking tricky pullback on this door. No. Best. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. You can win a BAFTA. BAFTA, oh, these nuts. You're an these animal. were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. Right. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Oh, gross. What's this? What's down here? Oh, no. Steam oh, reviews. God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, this is like a YouTube with his comment. humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Up your ass. Can you imagine if your review made it in the game? Yeah, that'd be the best day of my fucking life. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. You can, I you wish can there move. was a skip button. Can't you move past? Fuck this a guy. A skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews I can't, from I the don't. record. <laughs> Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. Oh. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the oh, button the door's has gone. been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any... 
Stanley, Stanley, St Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. Feels like it. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Loki fucks in my head. Here, yeah, it's not pretty. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already... Sorry, buddy. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced. When does he die? I think he died. I think I killed the guy. Yes, I've sat for a year and not moved. True. Did it for nearly two years. Is that telling me to replace the batteries in the smoke alarm? But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack. Am I dead yet? The end is never 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 the end End is never the 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 end come on guys be serious for a second oh roof's leaking that's not uncomfortable whatsoever. <laughs> Are we fucking underwater? I was waiting. I was thinking there'd be like 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 a, a nuclear fallout or like apocalypse or something, and the whole building would crumble. But it's just not happening. Oh, I just fucking said it, didn't I? It's never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. Can I get out of here? Oh my gosh. We are skipping years.
What happened? I was waiting for it to evolve into. I could be brown. I could be blue. I could be fire. Let's go. Don't like those noises. Oh, oh, we are on the side. Oh, you be brown. I can be. Oh no. Oh, we have travelled through time. Can I skip? Fucking go. This is trippier and shit, man. Don't know about you, but I'd be well hungry by now. Doesn't need food. Maybe I should go around the back of the building before I uh just fucking walk away. We did it. Ending nine. Desert. That was all in new content. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Very cool. Now, we'll go do new content. I think we should go like new content, old content, new content, old content. Because there is like, there's still shit that the that people in the stream haven't seen before. We'll do one for one. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm going to... I'm so sure I can... This was not oh. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perfectly Perhaps well. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Beautiful. The lounge was grand, majestic. Perhaps too majestic, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Let's do it this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Let's go down. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be fire, let's go, I could be love, I could be purple, I could be But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yes, I do. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here. It's um left. Yep. Let's go left. Oh no! Fucking no, it's hell. to the right. My mistake. You got it, buddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? You're dumb. What was I thinking? You're dumb. It's right? clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. You got it, legend. What's that truck doing there? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. I'm Quick, so sorry. Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Can you jump okay. over the side? I can't from jump. the top. Oh, okay. All right, now we'll do extra content. One for one, baby. I'm all about one for one. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, the extra content's gone. When Stanley... Oh, wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? It's always Stanley, been one for one. did you change anything when we were back in that room? One for me, monitors? one for them. Did you move the story somewhere or... I didn't do shit, bitch. Hold on. 
Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Uh, one for me, one for my homies. What if I just go backwards? This way. Be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet. I could be red, I could be red. Where the fuck am I fucking going? I'll say it. This is the worst I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Prove it, bitch. Do we just? Do we need to restart the game again? Wait, well, what's in well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Ooh. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? No. You're not listening. So many liminal spaces. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. All Very of liminal. All workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he, he had simply, simply missed a memo. memo. There's no extra content. We're still in the dream, baby. Okay, yep. It's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? You got it, handsome. Okay. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. No. Comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. So, best way to start. Hey, Tiki. I'm glad you're here. Oh, fuck. Now, this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. I think it's Buffalo Is Bill's basement. I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my don't story took me? place in an office building. I'd fuck me. Is that correct? I'd fuck me hard. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? Fuck me. You win! Yay! It rubs the lotion I on its you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Thanks. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. Why? We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. Tenant Nader. I have to restart. Thanks for watching. Do I still have a code on my head? I certainly do. Uh, uh, have fun playing Cyberpunk, pal. All right. All right. I've got a solution. This time, uh. to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. I'm on it. Just follow the line. How simple is that? I love fucking... Just follow that line, baby. Follow that line. Can't get lost see, with our line. line. knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act He's of smoking drugs. Forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation Can't of go the up there. of life Don't itself? have those abilities. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yeah. Bit of Kanye. Go motherfucker, go eat my shoe. Go motherfucker, go smell my poo. Go motherfucker, go make me burp. Make me burp. Uh, go mother. Got the music? Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Fern. I'm 
writing and putting a big circle around Fern. My one year old daughter just started dancing that song. Ah, oh, yes. I'm starting to party on the stream. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? You drew the line, you fuckwit. Oh, we're back oh, here. No, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Ta okay. Bum, 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 you know, bum, Stanley, I say forget the adventure line. What TM. Adventure line us? TM. We're intelligent people, right? <laughs> Trademarked. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Let's do it. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? You got it. Make me a knight. I want a knight. I want a princess. Now. And I want yes, a giant this cock. This is exciting. Yes. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Sexy. Go wild. Use your imagination. You and me fucking Whatever each other all be, Stanley, goddamn day. I'm ready for it. Get our fucking cocks out and just, just go to absolute town on each oh, other. Oh, no. Not you again. You, Stanley, TM. <laughs> I'd also like to veto the line from having a Line, TM. Awesome That's fucking hilarious. Story. No lines or more. How many leaves did it have? Branches? How much dirt was in the planet? I did not pay attention. I'm just gonna put if I see a fern that looks kinda like that fern, I'm gonna touch it. Okay, go up there. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Let's do it. From here the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Yes. And since the answer is clearly yes, then, by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. So I was thinking. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game for eight? Eight? Time right, it restarts again. No one forgets about previous That's restarts. Really Stanley attempts game? to play the story, but is prevented. I know where to go it's anywhere, do anything. The game determined. restarts on its own. Find the so line now, again. According the to the schedule, schedule, I restart again. Then what? Just right, just Am I just mistake. supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? I guess My one mind goes blank, blank and leaves simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I'd, I'm taking a picture. I don't picture. want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer it stopped. Oh. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Tom. <laughs> Will someone come for us? It's not well, permanent marker, happened. is it? I don't think so. so. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? It's shit, mate. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. Who's so they? I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... The fuck was that? Didn't like that at all. And what did it say? He should forget about... If this still counts. Narrator forgets about previous restarts. Stanley attempts to play the story, but is prevented. Unable to go or do anywhere, the game restarts on its own. We'll see. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. If there's new content, 
Oh, no, okay, we're done. He broke it. All right, new content. Let's do it. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, one for I have one. something very exciting to show you. Show me. I said we'd go one for one. Old content, new content. Old content, new content. Old content, new content. Old content, Tom. It's so black in there. <laughs> New content. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. Forget I it. I say we take it one step even further. La, la, da. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. What? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. Is this for real? A new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Is this for real? Gotta imagine if there was a whole new Calling game here. Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed yeah, yeah, down what the exactly Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. But okay. let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. All right. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, <laughs> that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Okay. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Oh man. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh man. All right, I guess we'll just start from the left. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. That'd be cool instead of Stanley and such a name. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself. What do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually right to the perfect button. And validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. How dare Just I. play along. I promise you'll love it. See, my brother's okay, name's. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath. My brother James goes mind, by Jim. He, he would have fucking lost his mind. And simply become a person named Jim. You got it. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yes. If so, then yeah. please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. 
Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Thanks, guys. Thank you for referring to me by my, my new name. Jim. How much would you... Oh, I would have shit my absolute pants. Unbelievable. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. You heard Jim in the game. What's this way? Is this part of the... I don't want to go to the epilogue. I want to still play around with the stuff. Please, no screenshots. A whole new office. Wah, wah, we were. Red is the new orange. <laughs> the baby's <laughs> all grown up. That's it. That's one of the endings. Is, is... The new update ray traced more of the same, but in a good way. See, oh my god. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. New features, new content, new ideas. The button that says the name of the player is playing the game. Let's play the game. Jump circle, infinite hole. <clears throat> Some Stanley Parable merch. Extreme Flight. Hey, thanks for joining there, buddy. Uh... The reassurance bucket. Before we go in there. Well, let's go in here and then we'll go check it. I'm worried that door is going to shut behind me. So let's go check out the reassurance bucket and then we'll come back. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Oh, here it comes. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Oh, I can't grab it. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The he said us. Naughty. Come on, give it a try. Oh. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive What's that in as the a corner person. of the room? The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? <clears throat> All this and more Cheers. await you in the Stanley Parable 2. This is my second cup. Okay, thanks for the bucket. Do I put it back or do I... Alright, I'm going to keep the bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Happy 12th Birthday, Stepneys. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it is. I hate you. And this bucket doesn't make things feel better. I always put them in all the photos. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... Yeah. No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. The jump circle. Oh, I'm out of jump still. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. Fuck you. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Did we do everything out here? I didn't go around that. Oh, but that goes up there. 
Let's do it. Let's check it out. Yeah, to be honest, the bucket actually makes me more uncomfortable than comfortable. It's just like a bucket in my fucking An space. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Uh. Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Wait, I haven't checked out all that shit yet. Oh, here we go. Free achievement. Infinite hole settings world champion. Let's check all the downstairs. My name is Trey. I have a basketball game tomorrow. Well, I'm a point guard. I got shoe game. game. Oh, it goes on. It goes on, doys and girls. Exit? No, I don't want to go to the exit. Can you find them? Can you find them? Collect them all. Oh my god. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Hell yeah! Didn't like that. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Free, new and easy achievement. I can't believe it's this simple. <laughs> Get it here. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. To How dare! To satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. That's rude. He has, he's got your pants down right now. Yep, he is making a fool of me. He is flicking my penis. He's doing it all. Uh, Rachy Bug, have a wonderful what night. What other Get some snooze in. Seen yet? No, we've done that one. What about the infinite hole? <clears throat> infinite hole. Infinite. It just keeps going. Stanley, oh. here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Great, now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Do you reckon it's actually infinite or do you reckon it's got a bottom? I want to see what's up here. Hey, this was open before, wasn't it? Go back in. Oh, I'll go back in. Okay, an 
I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's Do like a, a solid effort. minute of falling. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spend quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh! Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. Yeah, I think fucking we both said some things prick. we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. No. Nope. It doesn't work for me. I disagree. I'll stay at the bottom of this fucking hole forever. I'll stay down here for eternity. I'm, I'm bored. Apparently there's an ending to this hole. Don't tell me that, Juicy. You dingle? Wait, you mean an ending to the game or an end to the hole? Maybe your uh, message was just delayed. All right, have I gotten everything? Jump circle. Button that says name of the player. Merge settings. Watch yeah, Office decorations. Epilogue. Collectibles. Infinite hole. Yep. Ending to the game. Well, maybe another time. Blah. I bet if I fucking went and jumped back down, it'll stay there or something. But I want to like beat the, I want to beat the base before I go exploring the other options. Settings world champion. Is this something I can... What does settings world champion mean? Like if I brought it down to like potato settings. That didn't change very much. Very much. Well, your doy did it. Got the Stanley Parable achievement for not playing the game. Uh, you you got it. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, well, now we go to the exit. Congratulations. You did it. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yeah. Ready to move on now? Yeah. Oh. New mug. So Stan, oh, fucking what hell. do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. 
Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Wait, Let I've me got do the bucket. a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. Here we fucking go. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Lay it on me, Daddy. Oh, this is so trippy. Is this real? I just... I don't know at what point I'm... This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427. I clicked to skip. We're, oh, the balloons are here. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, I could still break the game. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. The bucket? I'm not picking the bucket up this time. It made me uncomfortable. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? I'm lost. I'm so lost right now. I don't know what to trust. Stanley picked up the bucket. Thank you. Dude, thanks for the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Thank you, Buckety. Is this just the normal game? With the additions, Still, no one was here. like he said, Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Oh my Perhaps god! Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Well, downstairs didn't have any fancy endings. There was only that one ending. So maybe we should just go to the boss's office. I guess I could go full to completion and then uh. Full to completion, and then go to that escape route. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down in- But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh, collectibles! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Thank you. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Um, we're playing Stanley Parable. El Chapito, and it's very strange because right now we're playing the base game, like the regular game, but he's put things in. It's super fucking meta and weird. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. 
it would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. And they've redone the Soothing dialogue him, to add this bucket in. Him, <laughs> reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm going to escape because I haven't done this ending. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. I have my bucket. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Dicks! Fuck. Good timing on that, dicks. Oh, I fucked As up. the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. <laughs> to be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Will this protect Farewell, me? Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exit. You're standing at the precipice of knowledge, much like a bucket itself. The human mind is frequently empty within a cavernous void, but through the use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and subs substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge you really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind that what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Guys, I'm tripping. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? 25, a photograph of 25 buckets. There's more than 25 buckets there. See you, Llama. Thanks for hanging around, buddy. Bucket with two handles. I played a bit, El Chapito, a bit of control. Inferno bucket, a replica of the Inferno bucket, which many of us were so powerful doing it. Oh my god. Cave drawings of a bucket. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The hanging bucket. There's necessary a relationship between the bucket and humanity, however clear a grasp of the bucket may be. There is yet more that is always out of reach. This distant never one is for our own good. Is that the infinite hole? Go back to war, you're about to unlock another shout. There is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. 
At this point, I just kick the bucket. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? So that used Stanley to be... decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That was like a regular ending, except they just added the bucket to it. I'm not going to touch the bucket. I'm going to leave the bucket behind. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. So are you still in the Stanley it. Parable 2? No, it's like the Stanley Parable was, 2 the lounge. is combined with but the Stanley Parable to 1 to, business, Stanley to make the, the Stanley Parable Deluxe. Left. It's fucking... Uh, let's do what Sandman wanted. And let's Stanley read. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh, can I make... Hello? Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? That bucket Stanley can fuck things. it. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine. I genuinely feel like I'm on an acid trip. You're in the second game still. I think the second game is the first game. I think now it's just, that's just how it is. It's just combined forever. Like, I could still do the stuff that I could do in the first game, like that that exit thing, but it's just sort of changed slightly. Oh, fuck. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun... Well, so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun... Well, so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun... Well, so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun... Well, so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun... You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must... Yep, it is still black and red. ...be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. <laughs> How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Now, like I said, I'm going to do what Sandman wanted. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting I'm going room, to go unplug Stanley the phone and finish well. off that ending. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just, just to, to admire it. it. It was okay. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door. What the door fuck is going on? It's like a weird booze dream. It's just fucking... <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. It's just a trippy fucking nightmare. I love it. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. Yeah, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Glad you're doing this now There's because I gotta pick the kids up from school. Stanley. I'm someone will drive them home. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. 
I'm asking for this is it, Stan. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Yeah, bitch! Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually <laughs> You're gonna have a fucked up night, Dragon Echo. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. I have to pee so bad. I'll be back in a second, everybody. Run to Australia, we need you gotta swim. If I can dig it, you can't run to Australia. I'm in Australia. You can't run to Australia. It's over the ocean. It's bloody island. It's over the ocean, you dickhead. Maybe if he like runs onto a boat and then runs around the boat for the whole trip there, but he can't do that. That's not possible. You have to sleep. It's like a 40 day trip on a boat, you fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. I give you a big fuck, you love. Just come back with me. I give you I give you dick flattening. I make your penis perfectly like a board. Last blowjob I gave was in hollowed out rusty shell of car let's, go to, let's go to disneyland let's go to disneyland let's go to disneyland let's go to disneyland let me go to disneyland i want to go to disneyland let me go to disneyland please let me go to disneyland i want to go to disneyland we need a pussy making mouse i want to see Minnie mouse i want to go to disneyland i want to see the heart of the present um no they're the same they're the same we'll be back clips we've had for quite a while actually i should i, I should make some new ones how had i not noticed it sooner I was standing. sitting here fidgeting. I was You're like, fuck, I need to piss. And I was like, why don't I just piss? I can't believe I'm a I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. You think if you had the you bucket, the wife would be jealous choices, of the You might bucket. have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, God, I wish I could skip in it. this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an thought. excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack, sack and, and crack. crack. I'd be more shocked, El Chapita, but we've done this Making already. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. 
Oh, man. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. All right. This time, I won't jump off the edge and kill myself. If this seems normal, you've gone wrong. Can I like... Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine That's the main fair. character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I haven't gone insane! Now before I like, I went underneath that and went down there and survived the fall, but couldn't do anything. It was like the game was fucking broke. The game was brokey brokey. So now let's just, let's just go. Let's just live our lives normally. Play as if this is what I've wanted to do the entire time. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Matt, lift your fringe. 2845. Never forget. You bet. Always keep him guessing, gang. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Yeah. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This is fucking dumb. I'm a dumb cunt. God, I hope this comes off. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. It's Friday night. Things are getting wild. You're fucking beautiful. Thanks, gang. The mustache I always wanted. I... Oh, no. I... From a distance, I look like I've given myself big lips. <laughs> this is fucked. Uh, door on the left. The Stanley power was broken, my brain. Yet there was not a single person here either. Uh -huh. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh. Coming to a staircase, Can't Stanley go down. walked upstairs to his boss's office. It won't let me go down. He's locked me into choices. The executive bathroom is, isn't there. Actually, it's kind of turning me on. <laughs> oh man, what's happened? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Imagine Shocked, coming into the stream now. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night shark something. 
I wasn't listening. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. <clears throat> Night Shark 115. Can't be me, right? I'm sorry, is there a problem? I don't know. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Secrets. No, Shark 115. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Bonjour. But I am just... Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Why, hello, I am Jimmy, stream extravaganza. Welcome to my stream. Oh, bah. bonjour. <laughs> Je suis Jimmy. Oh, I am. <laughs> that is racist. It's not true. Can't be racist. Can't be racist to white people. Write no. it down. Write Why it down so you don't forget. Quickly. Oh, yeah. back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <sighs> now it's time to make a move on bet. Trying to get it to come. Hey, back. Back, come here for a second. Bonjour. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello. Who did I marry? Do you love me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Sweetie, come see what I've made for you. But hello. Oh, oh fuck. Ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? Gotta go what for the I kids, do? but I don't want to miss do this. I do? <laughs> do I? No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. Just drive to. really fast, Sandman. <laughs> I have to. Je suis à home. Je suis. Je suis. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. 
What, did you think that would be funny? Yes. You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. I did it. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... I tried so hard. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? <laughs> Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? It's fucking you listening to this. It's Stanley, great, Fox uh, Okay, it's okay. I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. I could do. Can I do like the clown? Didn't work. Ah, oh, I could taste it. Eh. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a cosplay streamer now. I'm cosplaying as a fuckwit. Oh wait, is this new? This is All new. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? The bucket! Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Someone subscribe. Fox Thank you. I like the eyebrows. Can I make any addition? There will be a reward for finding them all. Trust the completionist instinct. Fox Tay, thank you for resubscribing. Spot on it. What makes it float in the air? What? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, it's getting deeper. Oh, I need to find them. Stairs. Something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. We, we know where that is. A private but smelly place for an important person. The... Please write Jim on your forehead. <laughs> I'll let Fox Tay decide. Next time Fox Tay wants something, I'll do it for them. Something to do with stairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I like Stan, Stan Lorraine's or whatever you went with originally. I'm not going down there because we know that's an ending, but I know 
the executive bathroom smelly. Hello. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then, different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Uh. I also know another ending we haven't done. I can beat these doors. Stepping in the oh, I fucked office, it. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication. Begin the game again. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Where Stanley was decided the, uh... to go to the. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The red and blue room. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. I think I remember how to get there. I think it's but up. You go over the business, gap. Stanley you took the down. first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm no. not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. Here it is, blue and red. show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. And there it is. The, the last, last Stiggly Wiggly. Wiggly. I like that. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Tell you what I didn't do. Now listen carefully. I'm going to do important. what he doesn't want me to Stanley do. Stanley walked through the red door. I went to the red door last time. This time the blue door. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. You don't own me, bitch. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Uh, right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. To get my cap and gown, they're calling f alphabet. My last name says, well, at least I have entertainment. <laughs> you see? This There's fucking game. Here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining Congratulations the Congratulations on your cap and gown, Retro. Specifically for you. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Yes. Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Please. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Um... I'd give it a four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. Yeah. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. 
Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Submitted my work seven candy. seconds late, so I'm I've checking to see if my toaster is waterproof. Let's Fucking hell. All right, new game. The Stanley Parable World Leaderboard. Great work, everybody. Am I meant to go through here? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? No. Again, honest answers, please. Why is it every time I clicked over to this window, there was more ink on your face? Why is it that you asked you so many questions? When you could be putting ink on your own face? No, that didn't help me. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. And now would Thank be you. a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Here's my notes. Die, bitch. <laughs> you heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Babies. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> Baby killing sounds about right for this game. It's a natural step. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is this about? This is new? Today? It's What's the... Our it's, it's... It's... What is it's... Our Firewatch! Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for they some used to do Minecraft. They used purpose. to go to Minecraft. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. So this used to cut to Minecraft in the original game, and now it's Firewatch. Yeah, good call, Tiki. Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. How good is Firewatch? I love Firewatch. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. No, oh, you can't. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh, Maybe you played this game for a bushfire charity stream. Well, I was raising money. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Oh, Benno. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Benno. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. 
Me and Ben and I have spent many okay, so an hour exactly do we do here? Let's in this see. world. <laughs> there are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, my God. Yay. Oh, I'm going way faster now. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is hey! Oh, fuck. Is Someone it subscribe. Hey, Nat King Cobra. Thank you for the gifted subs, you bloody legend. You bloody champion. Gifting a sub to the real GMAT. It's perfect for that. And gifting a sub to the real GMAT. It's perfect for that. Um, not so good for that. But for, for a channel that's pretty bloody good, gifting a sub to the real GMAT is... Is perfect for that. Nat King. That I work so hard on. This next goal is for I you. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls make yeah. for an even more euphoric sports experience. I love balls. I need to try it out. Here comes another ball. Woo! Nat King, thank you so yes. much for the five gifted oh, subs. Goodness, that really does feel amazing. That's amazing. It? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. He's insatiable for balls. I would have been upset if you missed. Yeah, more balls. This is how Rocket League should be. Ah. Uh, look at all these balls. Do I hit them all into the goals? Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. That's oh. right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is oh. my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your no sense more balls of in your purpose. face. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. What a grumpy cunt. Nat King, again, thank you so much. Um, you made the whole stream worth it. I mean, it was worth it already, but you've, you've just bloody done it. You've just gone and dropped absolute love. So what does he want me to do? Maybe I could drop out the hole. Imagine Rocket League. They should do a thing where like at random it just drops in like 10 balls and you just try and get them all in. Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, light. I like it. What's going on in there? Is there a new Poppy Playtime yet? I don't think so. Still think we've got to wait a bit longer for Poppy Playtime. 427, that's my office. What the fuck? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. 
to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Is that it? That was the ending? I mean, we did it. Oh! Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I did it. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. And I did. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Okay. Highway to the memory zone. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then we had no Everyone idea remembers their first. Find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Well, that's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. There's more than six. How many more and are there? Here was the second Stanlerine. You found this one all on your own just by poking around behind the boss's office. You did that, Stanley. I did. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. I'm clean. Oh. It's G Matt. He was the man behind the mask all along. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Yeah. Which of these rooms was the room you <laughs> found your third mini stand? Can you remember? My third. I think it might have been the warehouse. I think it was the warehouse. How many had I found when I looked at the whiteboard? Because, no, hold on. Had I only found two when I looked at the whiteboard? The whiteboard took me to the stairs, took me to blue and red. Where else did it take me? It took me to the, the poopy smell, the office smell. Stairs, blue and red, office smell, office toilet, the toilet. I'm trying to remember what, if I remember what the whiteboard told me, the different things the whiteboard told me to do, I'll remember. Because I went straight to under the stairs after the whiteboard. And I'm trying to work out if I'd already found two or if I'd already found three. It's probably the warehouse. I think that I think under the stairs might have been my fourth. 
Hey, that's exactly right. It yep. was here in the warehouse. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Let's see, what came next? Oh, no, yes, I waited it out. In this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. We didn't find one here. I'm so confused. The toilet. Oh, I should have gone straight ahead to the toilet. This was a fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the boss's bathroom. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Imagine if... Movie maker. <laughs> Sandman, welcome back. you back doesn't it i spent a lot of time making that video but it was eight minutes i wouldn't have spent on anything else what's that mean an overnighter in the peak district what does that mean sandman i don't know those words he's a better narrator than an editor there's a windows movie maker and everything i fucking love it oh yep yeah yeah i remember you saying you were going camping and then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. It's true. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Oh, they both go the same place. You're in the present. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. What the fuck? Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Do we want to do that? Oh, God. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. This guy's a fucking stoner. The speedrun record for this game is 83 hours. where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Don't play it again. Yes, I love that video. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Something special about this room. Do we want to do something with this room? That apple's whispering. Don't like that at all. 
These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. He's going to make you do this multiple times. What a cunt. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? The exit? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Oh, yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. They both go the same place? Yep. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? Sandy Parable There's 1. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. Have a good I weekend, Sam, man. Or a good I night, sorry. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. <laughs> I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's, Let's do go it. back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. If I'm having one last run at the office, what do I want to do? Do I want to just do what I'm told? All of his co-workers were gone. Or is it what really one mean? last run? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What's going on here? Reboot the game entirely. I'm doing it. Starting again. Trusting the sign. Trusting. Putting all my trust. Time. 12. 26 a.m. It is a.m. this time. How would the game know? I have no idea. Hang on, hang on. 
before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. Both times it knows I've launched the game twice. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. Fuck. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just say- Oi, big boy. We just made some money. High five, <laughs> bitch. Fuck you. You're fat. <laughs> Cargo some water. Thank you so much. $34.92. Toast stream has been amazing. I'm going to give you a- I'm going to get through the section and then I'm going to suck your penis. Okay, well. Next time you put the game up and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Um, gargle some water. And it still says the Stanley Parable 2. I'm going to begin the game. Um, thank you so much, pal. I appreciate that. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley well I think gargle some water might be uh I don't want to speak too soon. But I think gargle some water might be All of his co-workers were gone. The one for uh, the GMAT Stanley quiz. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Today's stream is that's I, I'm glad you're enjoying because I'm when Stanley I'm, came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. It's been a it's been a long week. I'm exhausted. That's why I was like, I want to play this game because a lot of the game is on the game. I don't have to talk so much. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I'm gonna go see if Coming the collectibles. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So the collectibles are gone. Check it the next stream. Should be Monday. I should be back Monday for sure. I'm gonna set my favorite time. No, I can't do that. Let's let's link. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Work to do to check you the next stream. Thanks, Gargle. And thank you again so much for the donation. Yeah, Gargle, some water, big dick energy. My favorite time is. The Twitter! PM. I'm not a crazy person. Ah, 4 20 PM, your favorite time of day. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 4:20 p.m. is. Let's use another foot. Let's use another slider to find out how accurate is 4:20 p.m. It's pretty. It's almost as inaccurate as possible. It's not like opposite, but it's pretty inaccurate. I say, regards to actually the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you'd like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. And perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. <laughs> the fuck, man. I wanted to set 69, 69, Benno, and then I realized that doesn't exist. And I embarrassed myself. Please adjust the slide. And we've done this one, so the computer is barely visible. There. Yeah. So how come we only had to do that the first time? Please adjust the I did that the first time I launched the game, but not the next two times. It's just like until the dog and the cat are friends. Yay. Please adjust the slide until the number five becomes the number nine. 
sore for a sec there. There it is. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Oh! Which of the two made up words below is the most appealing to you? Okiboinkle or scrumtush? Okiboinkle is pretty fucking great. That's so okiboinkle. Please don't adjust the slider. You got it. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the team. Do you know what time it is right now? Yeah. 12.32 a.m. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yes. What is the time anyways? What is time anyway? Yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yeah. Help. Okay. Yeah. Will you come back to visit me? Yeah. Probably not. I need to go to bed actually. I'm going to relaunch it again. You'll like scrum tush. Scrum tush. What time is it? 12.30. Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all the game settings to exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's like what I do, like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I know what time it is. I guess some settings are just insettable. Unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time. But that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. I mean, I'm streaming. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. What? Epilogue? I've unlocked the epilogue. What's the epilogue? He said the epilogue wasn't ready. Epilogue. Many, many years later. I'm back at the desert. It's the end is never the end is never the end is written on padded walls somewhere. For sure, it written in someone's shit definitely. Oh. time Ragnar I do actually want to go I'm, I'm 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 knackered but well it's the epilogue that means ending so let's play this bitch out oh let's see you Dylan I didn't even know you were here yes I also need some sleep so we were able to get to this location through the game normally Wow, it's 
This is the last thing I'm going to do, everybody, and then I'm going to call it a night. In loving memory of Stanley Parable 2. There's no skip button. Oh, the dis it's just a place for me to be able to talk with you guys and let you guys know about stuff that's going on and we can all talk as a community. The Discord's t are great, actually. I love the Discord. Cookie Nines blog review the Stanley Par Like so many, I enjoy my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Right, where the first game teamed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for, an infinitely deep hole. Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. I don't imagine that this is real. Jim. 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 <sighs> no more spin offs, no more sequels. Jim. Jim. Collectibles? So I had to get the collectibles to beat the game. What the fuck? Thank you for enjoying the new content. I've seen that sign before. Oh. He's back. Well, they're back. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read the, what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do, we do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard, in fact. Let me show you. Together, we're going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really need we also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together and make a new title for our game. The Stanley Parable 3. Grilled human condition. It's absurd, I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way the Stanley Parable will never end. Nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work, no need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again with a new title screen. What do you say, should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have say as well. Let's do it. A new sequel every time you start the game. You know what, since you put your faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Please adjust the slide until the computer is barely visible. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. 
the Stanley Parable 3 Grilled Human Condition. Thanks, gang, for joining me tonight. I'm sure there's more to do in this game. I'm sure there's more. There's obviously there's way more endings for the original. I'm sure there's more stuff for, for this updated version, but I feel like I've had a good sit down. I've played it for three hours. I've messed around. It was good fun. I'm going to leave it there. And you know what? I might upload this to YouTube. I don't know. Uh, uh, I did just upload part one of our Metal Gear Solid playthrough. Part two, which I should be, this should be the ending. Happens next Wednesday night. I hope to see you guys there for that. Um, I will do a raid on somebody tonight because... Because uh, we've got some numbers here. We've got some people hanging out. Um, let's quit to the desktop. Let's absolutely bloody do this thing. <laughs>